MPEG setup. We have a, the Hughes and Kettner backup base head, which is great, but to be honest with you, I've never had to use it. The MPEG is working out beautifully and, and never breaks down. That seems to be the down. one everybody picks if they can, if they can afford it. Yeah, the, the 6 Pro? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know what, and I can understand why. It's one of those heads that's got, um, it's got tubes involved in it, and it's solid state, so it's hybrid, from what I understand. That's what I hear. I know that's big talk for a girl, but... But, you know, it is. It's one of those things you can just kind of plug in and dial it up, and just about anything that you do is not going to sound bad, and it runs out of an 810, which is like a refrigerator, but thanks to the guys, I don't have to break Carry my back it. carrying it. Yeah, both of these are really heavy, but, you know, you've got to kind of have some weight happening to get the sound that you want. So. Do, you, um, do you ever use, do you, I'm assuming you use pretty much the tubes, that you don't switch to the No, I never state. do, no, no. You know, I, well, you know, it's not um, it's not like purely driven by the tubes. The tubes are really there just to shape the sound. Mm -hmm. So it's not like, I mean, obviously, w sometimes what will happen is uh, if we play a show that we can't get our gear to, they'll uh, they'll get one of the classic heads that's driven by the tubes, and that sounds amazing, too. I mean, you know, it's, it's incomparable. Nothing in the world sounds like that. But this is great because you can really, like, dial in whatever you want. And How often do you change the sound? I mean, you just get over your bass. Never. And you use no never, effects. Never. No. Nothing, nothing. Just like I said, meat and potatoes. I just want that beefy bottom end and, you know. I just want it in your face. And you know, Ruben, our sound guy, he's great. I don't know if you've talked to him, but um, I have, what, basically what I'm listening to on stage is what's coming out of here. And maybe like if you're standing like right in front of it, you can hear it. But what the crowd is hearing is, is what Ruben's feeding in. I think he runs it direct out of the back, if I'm not mistaken. He just runs it straight out of here. But this guy, like I said, if I'm not mistaken, I never sat down and like said, oh, explain it all to me. But um, he runs it out and then he takes that signal and he shapes it up. And that's what comes out of the, out of the PA. So.